Oh, I know what you're thinking. We're all thinking it. Laura, you look like an egg. Again. What does this mean? That means we're doing this again. We're doing this again. But the cool thing is we have upgraded. We are no longer wearing mucky ass Hello Kitty child's dressing gowns. Oh no. We've upgraded to a sensual silky blue robe because I am an adult. By definition, I mean I am a 12 year old boy trapped in the body of a 25 year old woman. I did delete my eyebrows, but I didn't shave them off. Ellie, I'm not shaving my eyebrows off for you. I'm sorry, hen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I need to put my glasses on because I cannot see. Oh God, is that really what I look like? Ew. Hi everyone, it's Laura here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So yes, the robe is on. The wig cap is on. My brows are sort of gone. They're blocked. I am not shaving my eyebrows off for you, Ellie. I'm not doing it because I haven't got the skill to draw them back on and look as good as you. I'm sorry, Hen. I'm sorry, Ellie Damon. I'm sorry. A little while ago, I made a video called I Tried Drag Makeup for the very first time following the baby doll of Dundee, Ellie Damon's makeup tutorial. And it went a little something like this. Roll the tapes. Where are my eyebrows? Used to be. Oh no 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 no! Well shit! I can do this! It's Wait a minute! Hold your horses, Ellie freaking Diamond! Girl, I lost all my contour! My contour stick is shit! I don't know what I'm doing! It's acetone. Um, Girl! The only thing I found that has acetone is nail polish remover, and that's like dangerous. But you know what? We have protection. I'm gonna try it. Ow. And now I've just blinded myself. I don't hate it. Sticky and wet. That's what she said. And this is the finished mug. This is just my go-to makeup. You know what? I should do another one of these when I've had a bit more practice and see if I evolve. Ah! Oh my god, so much cringe, so much cringe. Do you know what? She says she looks like the Sugar Plum Princess Barbie. Well, yeah, if Sugar Plum Princess Barbie went on a bender. You don't look good, Hen. You don't look good. So it's been quite a few months. And I think my makeup game has improved just a little bit. My favourite look has to be this one. My neurodivergent look, which, yes, I did block my eyebrows again. And I love how that turned out. I thought it was really, really cool. I'm not going to be doing the whole following someone else's tutorial again because... <clears throat> We all know how that turned out. Instead, I've created a look inspired by Ellie Diamond. I don't know if you know this, but Ellie Diamond is a massive fan of The Wizard of Oz, as am I. So I've created a Wizard of Oz themed look. And don't worry, it's not Dorothy. I'm not coming for Ellie's brand, not like someone else we know. Horror! <clears throat> Sorry, not COVID, just a cough. Oh, the Dorothy costume in the background of horror. I done had that first in. I do actually have a Dorothy costume. I do cosplay Dorothy, so, but I do like a very traditional kind of Dorothy look, I guess. It's not a drag Dorothy. Instead, I've picked another character from The Wizard of Oz who I actually really relate to, and that is the Cowardly Lion. <laughs> I haven't any courage at all. I even scare myself. <laughs> In fact, I was looking through some old stuff and I found this, which was a card that was given to me when I was in year 11 at school. And we were all given a picture that represented us. And I literally got the Cowardly Lion. I relate. I'm a bit of a pussy. <laughs> so I'm just going to try it out, have a bit of fun and chit chat. It's more of a get ready with me, I suppose. So let's get into this. <laughs> Pray for me, pray for my face. But first up, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna cheat and use an eyebrow stencil and I'm gonna position it. Instead of doing it like this straight up, I'm going to tilt it up slightly and tape it down. And then I'm going to use a little bit of brow pomade because I'm not using a contour stick again. Fuck that, we all know what happened last time. That'll have to do, Hen. Um. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let me just fill it in. It's just a basic guide, really. 
I mean, one's slightly higher than the other, but uh, it's like boobs. <laughs> Me when I open my TikTok. So now I'm going to clean up around the edges. And I actually got this, which is the foundation that Ellie used. It's the Conceal and Define Foundation from Revolution in the shade F2. Oh my god. This is really good. But, I mean... And then while I've got the foundation out, I might as well just slap it on my face. I'm gonna just go ham. This is such a good foundation though. I'm using a lot, I know. But that's because I have acne. It's typical, the day that I want to film a video, I, uh get a really bad breakout. I'm like, mm, thanks universe. What are you doing? I can't even blame Mercury because I don't think Mercury's in retrograde. It may look like crap right now, but hopefully once I'm done messing it around, it won't look so bad. And also I'm not even gonna put concealer under my eyes because the cowardly lion has massive circles and I'm there like, that's something I've already got. Yay insomnia. Look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> Look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. I actually love the Cowardly Lion's accent. I love me a New York accent. I think it's one of the accents that makes me kind of cream my knickers. Fucking hell, <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Oh my God, Irish accents, Scottish accents. Now I'm going to do the white sections. I'm using a little bit of white face paint. This is just the Snazaroo white face paint. It's not the clown white. I tried looking for it and I couldn't find it. And it's a new one. Oh. And I'm going to use a sponge. Now this one isn't wet. It's dry. I picked this up as a trick from Lawrence Cheney. A lot of people use a wet beauty blender when they're blending out their foundation and a uh, clean one at that. But I use a dry one because you guys that use a wet one, I don't know how it doesn't up your skin but it makes my foundation look as if it's a bit crisp off disgusting so i'll leave you at that so i'm gonna go down my nose and mainly focus on the center part here i loved getting my face painted as a kid like i absolutely loved it uh oh <laughs> fuck oh i shouldn't have done that that was my glasses falling on the floor very rude go underneath here a little bit but don't worry because i can go back over this like later i'm not actually gonna put it underneath my eyes because i want to look like i'm tired and i haven't slept also fun fact i have a lion squishmallow in the background the name of the squishmallow is francis which that's a shit name for a lion apologies if you're called francis it's a beautiful name but not for a lion like come on do you know what is a good name for a lion bert mcsqueeze me i know you're laughing at me, but let me let me give you a fun fact. So, the name Bert came into play because of an actor called Bert La, who played the Cowardly Lion in The Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah, this is just a brown foundation. This is the My Perfect Color Foundation from Primark in the color Rich Espresso, which who do we know who uses something in this shape? Right, see, I'm remembering, I remembered Sensei Ellie. I go with this. And I do tap motions. I don't like to swipe because when you swipe it, you're moving that foundation all over your face and you want it to stay in the areas you put it in. So I just Oh! Like so don't come for me. A sensei Ellie. I can't call her senpai because she's younger than me. She's younger than me. What? When I'm filming it, she's 22. But probably by the time this video goes out, she'll be 25. <laughs> you know, my video schedules are terrible. And she's a Sagittarius, which makes sense. I also recently really got into Zodiacs because I joined in with Juicebox's Twitch stream and everyone on there is really into Zodiacs. I used to be really into the Zodiac stuff, but not until recently. Recently did all my chart placements and everything. So I'm a Gemini sun with a Virgo moon, Virgo moon, anxiety, fun, and then Leo rising, which I'm very happy about because leo lion hi but also leo rising's like performative and i'm like hi bestie me how's it going i recently found out that tia coffee also has a virgo moon and she's a libra so i'm like yes and the fact that we're both virgo moon makes me very happy do you think that's enough contour i also kind of need to contour my jawline because i have multiple chins 
which I don't love. Can we take a moment? This is already better than the final product of the last video. Progress. Looking at my eyebrows, I look like I'm about to cry. Which is me every day, bestie. Now I just need to contour my nose a little bit. I don't want to do, like, lion's noses are weird. What did you say? Because I want to stay true to the animal. When I was sketching this, I debated painting the tip of my nose brown. I'm actually going to use a little bit of this just to fill in my eyebrows just a little bit because I think, you know, the pomade was a little bit too light. The look I'm going for is mental breakdown, about to cry. Oh wait, I don't need to put on makeup for that. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to take a sponge, but I'm going to flip it to the other side. And I haven't damped this sponge because I just don't get on with damp sponges. It is, Lawrence Cheney's got the right idea. It is gross. <laughs> Sorry. Now don't judge me, I know most queens use baby powder. I do have baby powder, but for all time's sake, I'm gonna use silky underwear again, because you know what? This was lit! It's, it's a white powder, it's similar to baby powder. It's a white powder. What am I talking about, cocaine? It's not cocaine, I promise. I don't need that, I'm already high on life, besties. <laughs> don't choke on the powder again, Laura, don't choke on the powder again. Because I'm gonna fucking jaw. Ellie, am I doing this right? If you're watching this, I know you watched my last video. Yeah, fun fact, Ellie Diamond did actually watch the video where I followed her tutorial. Oh, oh, oh no, she's gonna read me for filth as she sees it. Oh no, she was such a sweetheart. She was like, I loved it. You're so funny to watch. And it brought me a lot of joy. And I'm there like, Ellie, I'm sat over here crying, hen. Oh, oh, shut up. up. You're a freaking sweetheart. Oh, my cleavage is showing a little bit. Naughty. <coughs> that was a cough, not a choke. Not a choke, just a cough. <laughs> ah, I'm too much. I'm too funny for my own good. <laughs> I'm not going to be the first one to All right, now we're going to move on to the eyes, which is my favorite part. And I'm going to refer to my little sketch that I did. The windows to the soul. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Does the Pope shit in the woods? <laughs> I know we had a love-hate relationship with this last time, but the white eyeliner is back. So, and she's a fresh one. Oh, we love a fresh one. I'm just gonna put this on my eyelid as far up as I want. And then I'm gonna do my crease. I know that's a stupid idea, but this is just, this is my look. I'm not following anyone else's look, so. If it goes wrong, it's my fault. It's funny, I was literally having a chat with my grandma who recently just celebrated her 94th birthday and she's an absolute icon. Can we just, can we just have some hype for Granny Taylor? <laughs> grandma Christine, we love her. I remember we were talking about drag because there was a time when we watched like reruns of the US Drag Race together. She really likes Jujubee, which yes, I love Jujubee too. I recently found out she's also a Gemini, which feels so correct. Um, yeah, Gemini's, Gemini queens. We have quite a few. We have Rosé, we have Taze, we have Violet Tchotchke. Like, we've got some amazing Gemini queens. We have Detox as well, so uh, yeah, we've got a strong crowd. She said to me, Laura, you love Drag Race so much. Why don't you start doing drag? And I thought, well, I can't because I'm a girl and I, I can't really do drag. But obviously with the recent season three casting with Victoria Scone, who I absolutely love. I would normally say Scone. I know, is it, is it Victoria Scone or Victoria Scone? Victoria Scone? Where? Sorry, that was a shit joke. I'll see myself out. Next. Shut the fuck up! After seeing her being cast, I'm like, okay, now my grandmother asking me about why don't I do drag, she's making me reevaluate my life choices. So thanks, Grandma. Thanks for the existential crisis. But if I did do drag, I actually know what my name would be. But I don't know if other people would get it. Oh yeah, I'm going in with an orange eyeshadow. I'm going in with Chunk, and I'm going to use that as my crease color. I'm going to start about here and work it over where my brow is and kind of go a bit further up. But it would be Nora Divergent, which is a play on the word Neurodivergent, which is basically a really nice term for 
someone who is autistic or has ADHD or is dyslexic. It's basically a really nice term for anyone who is not neurotypical. And I really connect to that um, because I have spent so long being ashamed of the fact that I'm autistic. But you know what? There's nothing to be ashamed of. And I love that. I kind of want to give back to that and be like, I'm an autistic drag queen called Neurodivergent. I think that'd be really cute. But if I don't use it as a drag name, the only other thing I could use it for is like a kid's book character. So like, does anyone, I feel like I'm on an Instagram live talking to people, but does anyone here who is watching this video remember Judy Moody, who was like a school kid? I feel like she was an icon. <coughs> I think that a character like Nora Divergent would be really cool to have an autistic role model for an autistic child to look up to. And this eyeshadow is not bright enough. The Friends and Revolution palette that I got for my birthday, this is an I'll be there for you. And the colour I'm using is called tan, which if that's tan, that's like an Essex tan. Yeah, I'm just packing on orange eyeshadow because I love orange as a colour. I think it's a nice warm colour, but I'm going to add other colours into it too. Ooh, I think that's really pretty. Brown and go over the top. So I'm going to take the shade Yeti, which is one of my favourite Doctor Who villains. Yes, the Yeti do appear in Doctor Who, if you didn't know. Um, okay, so the camera angle's kind of changed and my makeup probably has changed as well because my camera just decided to stop filming and I panicked thinking I'd lost the footage. Turns out I had too much footage in my camera roll. I'd accidentally taken off all this makeup thinking, oh God, I have to start again. <laughs> okay, we're back on track now. So I'm about to dip into the colour Yeti right here, which is like a brownish colour and I'm going to use it to contour out my crease a little bit. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties, not just with this tablet this ipad but it's also just in general like i have a lot of technical difficulties i have a lot of difficulties in my life so why not in my technological life yay and i know on my original sketch i had yellow on my eyelids but i'm absolutely not feeling that like no way jose no way rose ha <laughs> I'm gonna take the colour Cashew from my Peanut Buttercup palette from Revolution, which this might be one of my favourite products I've ever used. Like, I love Revolution's eyeshadow palettes. I have so many of them. I have the Watermelon one, I have the Latte one, I have literally all, not all of them, but I have so many of them. There we go. See, that's really pretty. It makes my forehead look shiny, but my forehead looks shiny anyway, because I have oily skin. So that's fun. So now I'm gonna do the center part of my eyelid and I'm gonna do a gold, maybe? Hmm. See, this is a cool thing. I get to experiment, which I quite like. I'm gonna take the shade, actually, I'm gonna take the shade, how do you say that? Poughkeepsie from the Friends palette. Cause it's such a cute name. And I'm gonna use that. Oh, ooh, I like this color. Ooh, I'm gonna do that where my natural crease is and then leave the center part white. Cause I kind of want my eyes to look massive. Oh my, ooh, that's really pretty. I mean, I'm not doing the whole cleaning up my crease, like giving myself a crisp line because we all know what happened last time. I take some acetone. Um, I Girl, what the f I don't have acetone. The only thing I found that has acetone is nail polish remover and that's like dangerous. But you know what? We have protection. And now I've just blinded myself. So I think Ellie did that in her Panto Dane video. She used like a micellar cleansing water and I was like, thank fuck. Why, why did I follow this tutorial? I'm more of a leader, not a follower. Hear me raw, bish. <laughs> and speaking of, I do have my Medal of Courage in the background, which I actually made that myself and you'll get to see me wear it once I put the full costume on. It's literally made of cardboard and paint and glue and a safety pin. That's literally what it's made of. Guys, this is beautiful. I don't give a shit what anyone says. This is stunning. This is so much better. Seven, nearly eight months of progress. That's pretty good. This is, a, this is great. I'm really, really proud of this. Period. And I actually did a video on TikTok where I duetted Ellie Diamond's 
one of Ellie's videos. When she was dancing. I danced with her dressed as Dorothy. I'm gonna do it again while dressed as a lion just because continuity. So I have this little eyeshadow that I bought. It's from Models Own. It's a p loose powder in the shade Gold Digger. And what I'm gonna do is put on a little bit of this face paint on my finger. And it's on my middle finger, of course. And I'm going to pat it right in the center, kind of as a base. And then I'm gonna put this gold eyeshadow over the top. But I have to have a very light finger for this. That's what she said. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I love it already. I'm gonna put a little bit of the shade Nutty underneath here to kind of be like, look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Live life in the fast lane, you know? Actually, that does actually make it look a bit closer to my hair. I am wearing a wig again, because I did try styling a wig and I think it looked really, really cute. Oh my God, I look so scared. <gasps> <laughs> Moving on to eyeliner. I'm not doing a black. I'm gonna do a very dark brown. This is a Barry M eyeliner in the shade Cocoa Brown, the eye definer. Now then, it's all about angles, because I do want to do a cat eye, but I also want to look depressed. A depressed cat eye, is that a thing? So I'm going to start in the inner part and taper it like this, like that. And then I'm going to do the wing up to my eyebrow. <laughs> okay. Okay, I still haven't improved in the eyeliner department and my eyes are kind of burning a little bit. It is actually my first time using this eyeliner, so it could be that. So I'm actually gonna use my white eyeliner and I'm going to pop that on my waterline to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. A lot of my friends who cosplay like anime characters do this to kind of make their eyes look bigger and more animated. Just to kind of make my eyes look bigger and like more pleading like, oh, I'm sad. Ooh, relatable. I don't even look like me anymore, which is interesting. <laughs> wow, this is actually crazy. I'm going to come back to the eyes later. I'm going to do the rest of the face and do like lashes and rhinestones. I do have rhinestones. So I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm going to... There isn't a mirror in this. That's the only thing I don't like about this product. It doesn't have a mirror in it. So Barry M, can you sort that out? Thanks, Bessie. The first time I ever watched someone contour, I think it was Juicy Sara 7, Blair Fowler. Um, she was literally the first person I ever saw doing contouring and stuff. I was about 12, 13, I think. So a little while ago, about 10 years ago. <laughs> I feel old now. Woo. <laughs> I think she used like the Benefit Hula bronzer because everyone was all over that shit. But um, I've never used that because <laughs> I can't afford that because it's expensive. I'm going to do blush and I'm going to use my blush palette from Revolution if I can find it. Oh, I actually adore this. Like, what the heck? But yeah, I'm just going to go over through it. I'm just going to do this and go all over all the colours. All the colour! <laughs> and now for highlighter, which is actually this. This is from Revolution. It's the So Purty. One, it's from when they did the Aristocats collection, which, hello, I love Aristocats. It's in the shade Madame. Okay, now I can put my glasses on because I finished with my eyes. So I am going to use... Everything is going wrong today. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on in here on this day? So I'm going to take this brown lip liner and I'm going to align my lips because... That's what lip liners are for. You know, this is terribly informative. I'm gonna line around my natural lip and then come back. I can see Cherry Valentine's judging me. Oh look, there's Tia. <laughs> They're all judging me, especially Joe Black. I can see Joe Black's judging me. Right, you lot, I see you all judging me. Don't, I've had a hard day. I've had a hard day. Mm. For lipstick, I'm gonna use this lipstick. It's in the shade Rumba. And it looks like this. Look, if I hold it up to my chest, you can actually see. <laughs> see, I know I'm not like over lining my lips or doing anything crazy like that, but this is just my interpretation of the lion. My drag interpretation of the lion. And this is my interpretation of drag. Everyone's interpretation of drag is different. And 
it all is amazing and all deserves to be loved amen sister <laughs> period i'm gonna go over it with this metallic foil liquid lipstick i do it on the inner part it's in the shade calypso which hmm cute oh actually but doesn't really make much of a difference but you know okay that's cute okay now i'm gonna do some finishing touches and details and stuff the first thing i'm gonna do is freckles i want to put freckles on my face and i saw juice box do it i love how she does freckles it's so cute but i think the cowardly lion would have freckles for a bit of innocence so i'm gonna take my glasses off again and I'm going to use a brow gel, actually. This is the iHeart Revolution Tasty Avocado. And I know I've used a lot of Revolution products in this video, but that's because I love Revolution so much. But what I'm going to do is dab it, dab the end of it like this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Take my finger really quickly and just before it dries, just pat it to blend it out like that. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I'll do it here so you guys can sort of see. I might do lashes off camera because... <clears throat> Last time it was a bit stressful, but I will do a few rhinestones on camera because I'm going to need my lash glue. Oh, these are the lashes I'm going to wear. They're the 140 dramatic ones from Ilo, and I haven't opened them yet, so RIP to my nails. So now what I'm going to do is take my little gold rhinestones. I'm going to do four under here in like a teardrop shape because the cowardly lion is always crying. Oh, it's got a weird applicator. All right, pop a little bit of lash glue on. I should be using tweezers for this, but you know what? Live life in the fast lane. Uh, no, you meant to sit there. Okay, I'll do it on one eye and then I'll do it on the other one off camera. So you can kind of see. All right, first of all, very rude, which I mean, oh. Y'all, I don't know how I fucking I function day to day. Maybe I'll just do the three in like a single line. That actually looks better. So I might do three. Oh, I'm crying rhinestones. Can you imagine if a, the lion decided to cry rhinestones? That'd be so funny. <laughs> I don't know. There, that's the kind of idea I'm going for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put my lashes on and do some finishing touches, get my costume on, get the wig on that I have styled myself, and I'll be right back. See you in a bit. <gasps> oh my god! <sighs> oh my god. Look at the progress. Mama, clock the progress. Oh my god! Also, this is a wig. This is not my real hair. What the heck? <gasps> I'm shocked. Look at the progress. I, oh my God, I love this. I have made my cowardly lion fantasy come true. So let me just run through this outfit. My ears I got from Amazon and the little bow I got from Home Bargains, I think. The wig, I've had it for so long, I actually can't remember. The dress I got off of eBay because... Why not? I actually use it when I'm Leela from Doctor Who. So yeah, multitasking cosplays. We love it. The Medal of Courage. I made this myself. The gilet I got from a charity shop. I can't remember where it's from originally. The gloves I got off of eBay because I didn't want to do nails. Because I can't do nails, to be honest. And yeah, I do have a tail as well. And it came with my ears. So, and I'm wearing brown boots, which I'm pretty sure I got from Primark. But, oh my god, what progress! Ellie, if you're watching this, I hope you're proud of me. Obviously. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, oh my god, I'm just so excited! Oh my god, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Put em up, put em up! Anyway, that is gonna be it from me. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around through all the technical difficulties and crazy shit happening. To all of the drag performers out there, the kings, the queens, everyone in between, you're all amazing. You are all beautiful. You are all valid. You are all incredible. And I love you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep rocking it. You are so loved. You are so amazing. And in particular, I want to thank Ellie Diamond for inspiring this look and for kickstarting my love of drag makeup. 
and hopefully this won't be the end hopefully i'll be doing more like this but yes thank you so much for watching i hope your day is amazing and have a little bit of courage guys you can do this all right i'll see you guys in my next video bye